Ain't nothing happening. And when stuff is shut up, and if it won't move, you got to learn how to make it move. If it won't open, you got to learn how to make it open. Glory be to God. And I feel like preaching in here, y'all. Listen here, the Bible says that now Jericho was straightly shut up. And now notice this. God would always give instructions at every point of the venture. And what I want to share with you is that when they came to Jericho, now Jericho was a city that had great goods, but Jericho also was heavily guarded and protected. They tell me that they had built two walls huh, around Jericho. Huh? There was an outer wall huh, and an inner wall. Huh? And between the two walls, huh, they had debris between them. Huh? That if a person climbed over the first wall, huh, it would cut them and injure them if they fell between the two walls. Huh? Because you had to get over the first wall huh, in order to climb over the second. Huh? So it was doubled wall. Huh? Good God Almighty. Huh? But the Bible said God God gave them instructions huh? and this is what he told them huh? he says I want you to compass the city huh? I want you to march huh? one time a day huh? for seven days and on the seventh day I want you to march seven times huh? and when I tell you to shout huh? I want you to shout huh? and I want the priest to blow the horns huh? and the walls are going to come down in other words, your praise is going to make something happen that hadn't already happened. Hallelujah to God. Listen to me now. What you must understand, though, here the people are looking at these walls and they're saying, what is marching around the walls going to do to the integrity of the wall? We need dynamite. We need nitroglycerin. We, we need something that can bring blow down the wall. God said your praise hallelujah has enough dunamis, has enough power to make the devil go mad, to open any door. Your praise, your praise under God. And I feel like an airborne right here. But notice here, he tells them to march. He does not tell them to walk. He tells them to march. The difference between marching and walking. Walking is individual, but marching is corporate. That means you got to stay in step with your brother. You got to stay in step with your sister. You can't pick your right foot up while their left one is up. Y'all ain't gonna hear me. Bump your neighbor say neighbor have you learned how to march that's why churches split up folks don't know how to march they don't know how to work with one another they can't get along with one another but when you learn how to march tell somebody it even looks good it even looks professional it looks like you've been taught something it looks like you've been trained it looks like you are intelligent shout hallelujah Glory be to God. And what happened was, the Bible said that they marched around the wall. The first day, the second day, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. On the sixth day, they made it again. But on the seventh day, they got up and they marched seven times and the Bible said the Lord spoke to them and said now tell them I want them to blow the trumpet and I want the people to shout look at your neighbor and say neighbor we may not can tickle the ivory and we may not know how to do the sax and we may not have enough rhythm for the drums but one thing we can do we can open our mouths and shout if I can't hold a tune I can shout if I can't sing on key I can shout and I'm getting ready to take my praise to another level Lord help me Paul talks about an unknown tongue he talks about a tongue that we can talk in that may and don't understand uh, that only God understand uh, for we speak 
mysteries uh, unto the Lord. Uh, sometimes uh, folk ain't gonna understand you, uh, but so what? Uh, your bills are due uh, and you're praising God. Uh, you're sick in your body uh, and you're still pressing your way to church. Uh, you're down, down. Uh, to your last friend and you're still saying hallelujah anyhow somebody said I just don't understand them well there is a peace that goes beyond our understanding shout hallelujah look at your name and say neighbor you may not understand why I praise him like I do but I love if I take my praise uh, to this next level, uh, I'll cause uh, things to change in my life. Uh, I'll cause uh, my children to line up. Uh, I'll cause uh, walls to fall. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, oh, neighbor, don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Uh, you may not have... Uh, what you want, you may not can see it, but go ahead and praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him at noonday, praise him when the sun is going down, if you praise him, if you praise him, I declare your money will change. If you praise him, I declare your marriage will change. If you praise him. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Give God a praise. What are you waiting on? Your problems will be solved. Yeah, yeah, praise him. Praise him. And if the category fits you, then you give God a praise. You praise him when you were sick. You praise him when you were well. Now can you praise him while you're sick? You praise him when he bless you with a car. Now can those that don't have a car, can you praise him right where you are? Can you give him a now praise? Can you give him a now praise? You praise him when you got married, but now that you're separated, can you give him a praise now? Can you bless him? You bless him when you got your income tax, but can you bless him when you're broke? I declare you will change things. Your neighbor say name. 